What's up, folks? So, I'm glad that you came across this video because I have something very, very important to talk to you about. If you don't go 100%, you are doomed to fail. If you don't give everything that you've got, you are doomed to fail. If you don't give every ounce of your heart and your passions towards you fill in the blank. Whatever it is that you're striving towards, you are doomed to fail. And why do I say this? Because I'm a living proof of this and I'm about to tell you why. Over this past year, I finally, finally, I finally went all in with my personal training. Every other year of my life that I've done personal training over the past six to seven years, I have had a part-time job or a full-time job and then did personal training when I could fit it in. Over this past year was the first year that I ever, in my entire life, I worked for me. Just woo fit. And I was like, you know what? This is a huge risk. But the benefits could be amazing. The reward could be phenomenal if I just do this. It's going to be scary. I'm going to be broke. But in the end, I'm going to be building a clientele. And in the end, I, I was seeing my end goal where I wanted to be at least that next step, not end goal. You got to see the light at the end of the tunnel before you actually get there. You got to actually see that next step in your mind, not physically, because it's, guess what? Physically, you're not going to see it. You got to have faith. Faith is literally believing in the unseen. So you have to have faith in that next step that when you step out, there's going to be some form of solid ground there going to be there for you. And obviously there's going to be a lot of obstacles. Obviously it's not going to go as according to a plan every single time. But whether you're on a fitness journey, whether you're growing a business for yourself or just building a Facebook page, a Facebook group, an Instagram, a YouTube, whatever, it's going to take hard work. <laughs> it's going to take faith. And it's going to take 110% of your efforts every single time. Why? Because youths will be spreading yourself too thin in all these different areas. All these different areas. Sometimes you have to do something completely different outside of the box and give your 110% effort to that thing, whatever that is, before exponential growth happens. You actually have to have value in yourself and believe in yourself enough to take these risks because nothing great in this world ever happened and, and that nothing ever will happen without taking a risk. A quarterback in football, it's not 100% that that receiver is going to catch that ball even if it's a wide open pass. But guess what? He has to take the risk and he has to throw it. You have to take that risk every single day when you're going into your business, when you're going into your fitness and uh, like your journey, you have to take that risk. Knowing that, guess what, that weight's going to come off me. I might not be seeing it every single day. The scale might be saying some crazy numbers that I'm, I'm not liking. But if I keep on this program, if I keep up with this consistency, the gym membership that I purchased, the personal training that I purchased, all that's going to be worth it. Because if you got a gym membership, you got a personal trainer, yet you're still eating like crap or you're still skipping days and you know, you're just kind of going at it just, you know, a couple days a week, whatever. If you have one of these lackadaisical mindsets with it, you're going to get lackadaisical results. If you change the way you eat, little by little, if you change the way that you actually perform, aka you get your booty in the gym, you do some stuff, you build some lean muscle, you burn some calories, you burn fat and your body composition changes, guess what? You're going to get results and you're going to look at yourself and like, holy cow. And the weight and the scale might not even change that much, but your body composition did. Why? Because you followed a plan, you were consistent with it, you ate good, you were physical, and your body changed for it. Guess what? Same thing happens with business. Same thing happens with your Instagram or your Facebook or your YouTube, anything you're trying to grow. You put in that work and you'll grow. Over the past year, my... Instagram has gone over 60,000 followers and I really like to cut that down because I only want people that's really actually going to interact with me. That's a whole other topic, whole other video. But I've grown the amount of followers exponentially from when I was at the beginning of the year. Why? Because I put in an incredible amount of work. Like to the point where right now, I post three times a day. 
I post three times a day every day of December just to see if my engagement would go up, if my followers would go up, and guess what they both did. Shocking, you put more work in and you get more out of it eventually. That's the thing, people don't want that eventually, they want it right now. This is a right now world, give me results right now. I wanna draft this quarterback in the first round right now, cause I'm the Cleveland Browns and I think they're gonna be amazing right now, even though I built no foundation around it and I put no work into making sure that succeeds. That's our mindset, that's how broken we are. Like this world literally is the Cleveland Browns. Like we want results right now, but we're not willing to do anything to actually make sure that those results actually happen with a solid foundation. You know what that solid foundation is that encompasses everything? Actually putting forth 110% effort to making sure that that happens. Sticking to a plan. Sticking to a plan. Did you hear me? Sticking to a plan. Every single day, chipping away at it. Some days you're gonna be sprinting, some days you're gonna be crawling. And you know what? And just like when you're in your fitness industry, some days some, you're going to be just maintaining not every day, but some days you're just gonna be maintaining, but you're gonna be taking a step a little bit further. You're gonna be taking a step a little bit further towards your goal. If you wanna lose 100 pounds this year, then do it. If you want to open a business, then do it. If you wanna get 10,000 YouTube subscribers or more, because I, I challenge you to think more and go outside the box, or Instagram followers, or whatever your goal is, whatever your dream is, then do it. You want to be the best Madden player ever on Xbox One. Then then go and do it. You have to practice every single day. You have to play. And you have to lose. And you have to learn. And you have to get better. Just like in life. You have to lose. You have to practice. You have to try things. You have to keep pushing on things that work. And you have to expel the things that don't work. But guess what? That's still effort. That's still every single day I'm waking up thinking about new ways to market myself, new ways to grow, new ways to do this, new lifts I can do so I can get stronger, new things I can do to get faster. This is how I can help my team in my sport. This is how I can get better at grades in science and math class. This is how I can promote my business a little bit more. This is how this, this is how that. And guess what? You just planning that in your mind. You just took steps forward. Because if you sat there like a lump on a, a log and you didn't do anything, you're backtracking. This year and the rest of your life, don't take any steps backwards. Keep learning. Keep learning new ways to grow in your business, in your fitness industry, in your sport, in your team, in your schools, wherever you're at. Keep learning. Keep reading. Keep expanding your mind with the opposite thought process that you have. Listen to people that believe things that you don't believe right now because maybe maybe that will be the train of thought that you go down eventually but who knows or maybe their train of thought maybe their whole thought process and philosophy for life or their bit for business or for lifting or for whatever it is maybe just this video maybe that'll be the thing that strengthens your thought process your knowledge your wisdom but I, I challenge you to look at the other side of the coin this year and for the rest of your life. But these are just things that I see every single day and I wanted to expel this wisdom onto you because I want you to be the best possible version of yourself no matter what. And then so. That's my heart for you. So, I hope you have a very happy new year because it's, it's almost New Year's. And please have an amazing day. Comment down below. If this video affected you or changed your life, or even if you hated it, comment down below. Just say hey. But like and subscribe. This is woo!